welcome to Ireland's Next Top Biofuel. My name is Aoife Long and I'm studying renewable gas policy here at UCC. Our growing energy demand in the face of climate change and depleting fossil fuels means we need to look to more towards sustainable forms of energy. Renewable gas or green gas is gas that is produced from biological material. It can also be produced from non-biological sources. It is a form of renewable energy that we can use to produce renewable electricity, heat or transport. During Engineers Week this week, we are examining the different sources of renewable gas for Ireland. Our judges are Molly Brown and Sinead Moynihan from Colosse de Trassa in Canturk. They recently won their category in the BT Young Scientist competition for their project on STEM subject choice at second level. Today is our makeover episode, where we will be examining in more detail how we convert our feedstocks to renewable gas. Okay, so we're here with our anaerobic digestion feedstocks. What can you tell me about this technology? Uh, well, anaerobic digestion is where bacteria break down a substance uh, and releases um, methane and carbon dioxide. The leftover co-product is called digestate. Uh, then the carbon dioxide is removed from the gas and we're left with uh, biomethane. Now, biomethane has the same properties as natural gas and it can be transported to where it's needed through the national, gra national gas grid system. Okay. Anaerobic digestion is a proven technology and is widely used throughout Europe. Germany uses biomethane primarily in the production of electricity, whereas Italy prioritises it for use as a, transfer, as a renewable transport fuel, whereas in the UK it's used to produce heat and uh, combined heat and power. Okay, thank you. So can you tell me a bit more about gasification technology? Yeah, of course. Um, gasification technology converts fuel sources to gas by heating at extremely high temperatures. Um, this is demonstration technology and most plants would use um, the gas for combined heat and power. The Gobi gas plant in Sweden has plans to use the converted gas, um, to, sorry, to convert the gas to methane and then add it to its national grid as it's phase two. Okay, so are there any plants converting to methane at the moment? Not as yet, but it is possible. So party gas technology converts a surplus renewable electricity and the waste carbon dioxide from industries uh, into methane. And um, as of now, uh, Audi uh, in Germany at Wörtel uh, runs such a plant and um, methane coming out is used uh, as a transport fuel in their cars. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what do we think? Uh, I think anaerobic digestion is fine, but I do have concerns about gasification and power to gas. Okay. Both are expensive to develop. With power to gas, if interconnections are improved, it may not have that cheap source of electricity. Okay. Okay, so we've made our decision. Yep. Okay, so the judges have made our decision. So slurry, food waste, grass and seaweed, can you please step to the side? You're all safe. Power to gas and willow gasification, please step forward. This was a difficult decision to make. Both are promising technologies, but seem very far off in terms of being viable. Power to gas is a step ahead, as this is already in use as a transport fuel. So power to gas, you're still in the running towards becoming Ireland's next top biofuel. Okay, so that concludes day four. Tomorrow we're going to find out about the biomethane potential, how we find out what it is and how we bring it from the lab to reality. So tune in then for the next episode of Ireland's Next Top Biofuel.